Welcome to Devotions from Israel, a five-minute word of encouragement. Today's devotion comes from 2 Chronicles 20. In a very informal way, I I simply want to share a story with you from 2 Chronicles chapter 20. I think we've all been in predicaments. Well, this is exactly what Jehoshaphat and the Judeans living in Jerusalem were facing, a predicament, three invading countries or people groups from the east side of the Dead Sea were now gathered together on the shoreline of the Dead Sea at a place called En Gedi. I'm sure news spread quickly to Jerusalem and Jehoshaphat, who was the Judean king. The predicament was, no doubt, that these three invading armies were on their way westward up through the Judean desert towards Jerusalem. However, the prayer that we see in verse 12 of 2 Chronicles chapter 20 is one of the most simplistic and yet I think one of the most important prayers of humility that all of us can implement in our own journey of faith. Once Jehoshaphat learned of the predicament, in fact, he initially said, I'm afraid, but yet he eventually formed a a prayer gathering, if you will. He called all the Judeans together to Jerusalem. And in verse 12, uh, the prayer simply goes like this. Lord, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. Lord, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. How many of you have been in predicaments like that where we simply go, Lord, I don't know what to do. Don't forget the second part of that prayer. But my eyes are on you. So Jehoshaphat implements this prayer gathering. He prays, Lord, we really don't know what to do about these three invading armies. And yet we want to know, uh, we want you to know that uh, our eyes are on you. We're trusting in you. So what happens is that this prayer gathering continues. And at the end of this uh, gathering in Jerusalem, uh, Jehoshaphat decides to send out the army. So the distance between Jerusalem and Gedi is about 25 miles. It's not a very easy walk. However, it is a downhill walk through the Judean desert. Uh, We have this text that tells us that they went through the desert of Tekoa first, which is just to the east of Bethlehem and then straightly east to En Gedi. A very difficult trek at this point through the Judean desert. The priests go on ahead, and again, uh, this is a remarkable scene because they're giving thanks already in advance to what God is going to do on their behalf. In fact, in Hebrew, the whole uh, word of thanksgiving that appears actually in uh, the Psalms goes like this: Hadula Adonai Kitov Kelealam Hasto. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, and His mercy endures forever. You see, they were already praying in advance, in an attitude of trust, knowing that God would intervene. So the predicament, the prayer, and now God's plan, because once they get to the top of the ascent of Ziz. Uh, no doubt a, a cliff high above En Gedi itself. Uh, they look down uh, to the shoreline of the Dead Sea and they discover this. These three invading armies ended up ambushing one another. And the Judeans, including Jehoshaphat's army, did not have to even lift a single sword. You see, God intervened. I hope that this brings encouragement to you today in your predicament. 
Uh, we are invited to simply trust in him. And uh, we are offered uh, this invitation to entrust the outcome to God's capable hands. Just as Jehoshaphat experienced this himself, uh, we are to do the same. So trust in the Lord. Don't rely on your own strength. And it's okay to pray, Lord, I don't know what to do. But, but be sure that you conclude that prayer with, but my eyes are upon you. Be encouraged today. Until next time. Shalom.